everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 17 and another edition of Hashtag Friday Sews. So today I'm going to give you a recap of what I've been up to, including my hashtag I'm so festive reveal, tell you about my upcoming plans and give you a little life update. And by little, I mean very, very little. So first up, what have I been working on? Uh, I've had two projects planned for December, McCall's 7974 for the hashtag little red dress project challenge and the pattern scout comfy lounge set for the hashtag I'm so festive challenge. So let's start with the comfy lounge set first. I managed to finish it up literally right before I started filming this. So I'm really excited to finally show you it. And I'm going to do that right about now. the Pattern Scout Comfy Lounge Set. I made it out of a very festive double brush polyester and I love how it turned out. I, it was a little touch and go there for a minute, but you know, what sewing project isn't, am I right? Uh, I made a size 18 B cup for the top and a size 12 for the pants. And this is actually the second time I've made um, this pattern and I'm just really happy with it. I think it's a really straightforward, um, it's a pretty basic pajama or loungewear set. It sews up really quick. Um, it took me about four hours to sew the top and the pants, um, except the hem. So not including the hem, not including cutting it out, about four hours. Um, it has a variety of sleeve lengths. You can do a scoop neck, you can do a crew neck, pants, shorts, long sleeve, short sleeve. Um, it does have pockets. I didn't put the pockets in this version, but it does have pockets. If you're a pocket person, that's very exciting. Um, it's drafted for someone who's 5'9", and I'm 5'8", so that's perfect for me. Uh, let's see, the, there's cup sizes. Um, it has a B, C, or D cup, so that's an added bonus. And I decided to do the lettuce edge hem on my serger for the hems. And um, I did that on my last version as well, so I decided to do it again because, well, it's cute, and this is a cutesy set, and uh, it's a lot faster than doing a normal hem. So uh, yeah, I, um, I bought some uh, woolly nylon to put in my loopers because I heard that um, it'll produce like a better looking lettuce edge hem. So if you're not familiar, this is woolly nylon and it's a type of thread and you can see here, it kind of has a looser structure and it's a lot fluffier than regular serger thread. So the theory is that when you put this in your loopers, the fluffiness will kind of fill in the space between the threads and then that will give you a better lettuce edge hem, like it'll give it a fuller look. So that was my experiment for this project. Um, let me actually show you some examples side by side. So uh, you can see here, this is the lettuce edge hem sample that I made with the regular maxi lock thread. And you can see the tiny gaps between the looper threads that are um, going over the edge of the fabric. Now this one is with the woolly nylon in the loopers and you can see it's a little bit fuller. Um, and here side by side, the top one is with the regular maxi lock thread and the bottom one is with the woolly nylon. There are still gaps, but you can see it's a just a little bit fuller looking. So I'm really happy with how this set turned out overall. Oh, and um, FYI, if you're using woolly nylon, um, don't, it melts at a lower temperature than regular thread. So don't ask me how I know this, but anyways. Um, so anyways, the set is super festive and um, I love it. And I'll definitely be wearing it for Christmas and I'll probably accessorize it with, um, you know, some eggnog and some brandy cake and some brandy in the eggnog. So anyways, thank you Delilah for hosting and Kim for hosting this challenge. Um, it was a really fun one. Now that that project is done, it's time to turn our attention to my McCall's 7974 that I managed to get all cut out. That was no small feat. It was basically 14 pattern pieces out of um, crepe back satin. So really slippery, took me three hours. <laughs> um, so very happy to be done with that. Um, but that's where the progress ends on that project because I set it aside to work on this project. 
Um, so anyways, uh, sewing is what's on the docket for this next week. And I really want to try and do a good job and I don't want to rush through it because I think it'll be just like such a pretty holiday dress to wear for Christmas Eve. Um, but I think this one is going to be kind of a challenge because number one, my fabric choice, <laughs> I did it to myself. And number two, it's just kind of a more involved pattern. So, and I'm planning to cover my own buttons. So a lot going into this one and I don't have a lot of time to spare. I think I have about a week to get it finished. Um, the crepe back satin that I bought was, it's pretty inexpensive and it's already giving me trouble on the test swatches. So it's just going to be a ton of fun. It's just going to be a lot of fun. So anyways, if I have any extra time, I kind of want to make my cat something to match one or both of these outfits, like maybe a cute satin bow tie or like a little jacket out of this fabric. Um, I don't really put clothes on him very often, <laughs> but uh, he doesn't mind putting on something to just like take a photo so we can have a little like mommy and me, pet and me sort of photo. Anyways. Something tells me I probably won't have much time for that, but um, you know, who knows what kind of magic Christmas will bring. Maybe Santa will bring me some time this year and that would just be a great gift. So, so okay, quick life update. I don't have a life, so there's no update on that. Um, <laughs> so that's all I have for you for Vlogmas Day 17 and today's episode of Friday Sews. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you as always to Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room for starting this hashtag. And make sure to check out all the other Friday sewers out there. So I hope you have a really great weekend. I hope you have some fun sewing plans for yourself and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 18.